potential off-screen conflict, which I would consider talking about, but once again, it's outside the scope of this. And um, like, like, I think being like selection of being bisexual is really like strong because you're talking about the advantages of monogamy, and it's, it's just me and humans we have really high divinity infants. So if you lose your mate, if you if you're cutting yourself off from potential mates because like. I don't know, for some arbitrary reason because they have a penis or something, then you, you're you preventing yourself from having a, a, a pair bond. So I think bisexuality would be selected for because then you increase your potential mates. And like I said, it doesn't matter who you're having a pair bond with just as long as you have a pair bond. So that's what could happen to all the extra people in, in polygynous societies and poly in polyandrous societies. They can all get together and form their own pair bonds. And then the extra pair populations, they can make with them. Do you know if um, bisexuality is more common for, say, females or males in primates, or is it just? No, I think it just says primates are bisexual. Full stop. Thanks, Jeff. Yep. Without wasting time with this, just accept it when you want. Sounds like the Bible. <laughs> But then that wouldn't like be, you know, verifiable. <laughs> Bats are birds, just accept it and move on. But I can see that they're not just <laughs> Too much Bible bashing. <laughs> I did that a little bit in the meat post this week. Did you? Yeah, I called vegans. I said that they had religious-like aspects. That's just an ad hominem, come on. <laughs> Can we watch videos of the night? <laughs> <laughs> Probably. Wait, when I tried to find pictures of bonobos, it was really difficult to find them and not having sex. <laughs> 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 Can you show one? Yeah, I think it's really funny. Actually, I watched a really funny TED talk, and I think it was, it was bonobos or chimpanzees, and they were um, playing a ball game. The ball was grab the guy's testicles. <laughs> This female was just chasing the male around and around. It seemed like they were both having fun. <laughs> I watched a video of a chimpanzee. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm already laughing before you said it. See, my, the, the video that I saw was a TED talk and not illegal to watch. <laughs> it was on YouTube. It was a chimpanzee ma using a frog to match the map. <laughs> Would that come up with the yellow? <laughs> from a chimpanzee. <laughs> <laughs> not from a chimpanzee point of view. I guess it would be species as to say that it's not. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if the frogs survive. <laughs> chimpanzees mating with methane as frogs is way beyond my scope of knowledge. <laughs> That's more of a philosophy thing, I guess. <laughs> Is this moral? I don't know. <laughs> Did it hurt the frog? <laughs> Is anyone going to ask if she can't see now she can be an orgasms? <laughs> <laughs> you already know that they do, and you already know why I know that. Because researchers touch them. Primatology research. <laughs> because uh, it, let, <laughs> the, the human female orgasm is still, like, it's only like, lots of people still don't believe in it. And, <laughs> and lots of people think that it didn't it, it has no evolutionary purpose because like why would it matter if the female enjoys it? Even though it seems really obvious to me that if the female enjoys it she's more likely to mate with you, so isn't that like the advantage right there? But yeah, apparently it's not that obvious to people. I was told it was because God is kind. <laughs> <laughs> well then he wouldn't have designed the human male penis that shape. <laughs> Design too. So yeah, so they wanted to see if female chimpanzees have orgasms. So 
So the experiment involved stimulating the female, and they quite enjoyed it actually. And apparently, one particular female chimpanzee really loved it and was thrusting the um, researcher's hand up higher. <laughs> and then they like <laughs> measured noise levels and all kinds of things. And yeah. their conclusion is they're pretty darn convinced that female chimpanzees do have actual orgasms. Yeah, I'm thinking about it. <laughs> <laughs> 